and we are back hello everyone welcome back to five minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of read code and geeks for geeks within less than five minutes so without wasting time let's get started so today's problem is string rotations of each other which is marked as a easy level problem let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given two strings s1 and s2 and what we have to do we have to check if a string if s2 is the rotated version of a string s1 Okay, if S2 is the rotated version of a string S1, what does this mean? This means he A B C D and C D A B. Okay, so let's say if we will rotate S1, if we will rotate S1, it means it can be anything like A B C D is there. So if I will rotate it once, it will become something like B C D A. Okay, if I will rotate it once more, it will become C D A B. Okay, so and if I will rotate it once more, it will become something like D. A B C something like this. Uh, if I will rotate it again, if I will rotate it again, it will again becomes the same string A B C D. Okay. So these are the four strings which can be formed with the rotated one rotating. And I have to tell, I have to tell if S2 is one of them. If S2 is one of them, yes, C D A B, C D A B, both are matching. So it means S2 is the rotated version of a string S1. Rotated version of a string S1. Okay. All right. So, but uh, okay. So I think the problem statement will be clear. Similarly, you can see here A A B. So if I will rotate A A B by once, it will become A B A. Okay. A will be removed from here and it will be added in the bottom. Last. So A B A. True. Otherwise A B C D and A C B D. Okay. So you can see ki A B C D on rotating it, there will be four versions, but none of them will be A C B D. None of them will be A C B D. So we will simply return false. Okay. All right. I hope the problem statement will be clear what we are trying to achieve here and uh, yeah so how can we do this how can we do this first approach is basically to uh, check like to try all the ways to try all the ways like i will start with uh, uh, let's say s2 is having s2 i have to check the version so i will start from c i will keep on checking whenever i will get c i will again c then d is matching okay c is matching d is matching then again go to starting a match with a match with b so yes it is matching but there can be several like say ways like uh, this one is a simple case but let's suppose c c a d okay and here it is c a c d something like this c d c a okay so now i will first of all check c is matching with c yes c is matching with d no okay so this is not a rotated version then start from this index one and this index zero again check it again check it so c c is matching but then a d is not matching okay so again then move this point to here again start a is matching with c no then again check with d d is matching with c no so it means false so like you can see I have to try all the ways which will return which will give me n square time complexity which is not good n square time complexity is not good because i am getting 10 raised to the power 5 n square time complexity will be uh, not good okay all right so what we can do then what we can do then look if you will see if you will see something a b c d so what does rotated means rotated means that some part of it some part of it is in the bottom like the new string what will be new string c d a b some part of this is like last part some suffix of it is in the starting and the remaining one in the last okay so if i will break it down from here so it will be something like cd in the starting and then ab in the last okay all right if i will break it down like bcd uh, in the starting and then a will be at the last then it will be a new string so you can see you can see one thing okay, if i will match a string abcd if i will concatenate a string abcd two times I can simply check. I don't need to rotate. I don't need to rotate it now, isn't it? I can simply check A B C D and A B C D. Okay. So we can simply use one function. Inbuilt functions are various inbuilt functions are there. I can simply check ki, uh, whether S2 is present in S1 or not. Whether S2 is present or not. Okay. So C D A B is present. So we will simply return true. Similarly, if you will see A B C D and I will concatenate it again A B C D A B C D. Now I have to check A C B D in it. A C B D. No, A C B D is not present. Simply return false. Simply return false. Okay. All right. And A A B A B A. Okay. Again, we can use the same thing. Concatenate string S1 two times. A A B. And then A A B again. Okay. Now check for the A B A string. So yes, A B A string is present. We can simply return. We can simply return true. All right. I hope the problem concept will be clear. And if you will see on concatenating, I have already explained one. Uh, video i will add that as well with kmp algorithm which can be used here as well which can be used here as well which was saying ki, um, 
given S2 is a if S2 is present in S1 or not. If S2 is present in S1 on on concatenating, it also becomes the same question. Okay, so yeah, there is too much of explanation done, but we don't need to do KMP here. But if you want to learn, I will add the link in description as well. Okay, all right. So basically, we can simply write the code in two lines here. Okay, you will be thinking so big explanation, but so small code. But yeah, it is what it is. Okay, so what I will do, I will simply do string s is equal to s1 plus s1, like concatenate it two times. I can use s1 as well, only don't need to uh, define another one, and now simply return. Simply return what s1 dot last index of s1 dot last index of s2 is greater than zero. Okay, so if s1 now look s1 is becoming two times. So basically, I have concatenated it two times, and now I will check if the s2 index if s2 is present in this node. If s2 will present, it will return me that index. But if s2 is not present, it will return me minus one. It will return me minus one. So if is the it is returning greater than zero it means s2 is present it means s2 is present or we can say equal to zero it means s2 is present in s1 so we will simply return true otherwise minus one it will return so it will become false and we will return false all right let's submit it then so there are two ways to solve this first one is this simple way and second one is to use kmp algorithm okay all right it is getting accepted i have got my geek bit as well so i hope the problem will be clear now and I will, if you loved the explanation, please don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video. And I'm going to see you again tomorrow. Till then, keep on coding and bye.